Hello, and happy Saturday, April 11th, 2020. And welcome to Nightly News with Jeff, where I tell it like it is. I am so grateful to all of you who are tuning into this program, and a special shout out to the man who I met today, with his little dog, who stopped me on my walk and said, hey you, and I turned around, and he goes, you're the funny guy that's on that YouTube channel. And I said, excuse me? And he goes, you're the guy who does the nightly news on that YouTube thing. I said, oh yeah, that's me. And he said that one of his friends on Facebook uh, shared this video and he watched it and him and his wife have been watching it and they've been laughing every night and he told me to keep them coming. So I most certainly will. I wish I had your name, but shout out to you and shout out to your adorable little dog that you had uh, on your walk today. Um, so look at this. I'm so grateful and thankful to all of you who are watching this. And really, when I started this program, I did it for two things. One, I did it because I wanted people to laugh and smile again. Because as I walk, do my daily walks and as I have been watching the news, it's very depressing out there. Really, really depressing. And awful and horrific. And people need to laugh and people need to smile. So thank you so much for tuning in. And the second reason why I did it is because every single day is a holiday. And when you celebrate something, it's hard to celebrate something with sadness and anger and fear in our hearts. Most people celebrate things with joy and laughter and love. So, speaking of celebrations, today is National Pet Day. And for those of you who are thinking to yourself, this is deja vu, uh, the last three or four days, I kept talking about dogs. I noticed doing this program that dogs seem to have a lot of days. Um, so there you go. Today is National Pet Day. So whether you have a pet fish... Pet cat, pet dog, pet pig, or pet rock. Today is a day to celebrate your pet and celebrate you for being an owner of a pet. So give your pet a hug. Unless it is a fish and lives in water, please don't because fish need the water to live. It is also submarine day. I'm not talking about a sub sandwich uh, or a hoagie or grinder. I'm talking about a submarine or a boat that goes underwater. Sub, under, marine, water. So a vessel that goes underwater. If you're unable to go see a live action submarine today because you are locked in your home, feel free to get the game Battleship from your basement of your house or your attic and play Battleship and play using a submarine to celebrate Submarine Day. Also, fun fact, Submarine Day is the only celebration of the year we celebrate twice. Submarine Day is celebrated on March 17th. It's also celebrated today on April 11th, so the more you know. It is also Pet Day, Submarine Day, and something very exciting. It is, you guessed it, Cheese Fondue Day. If you don't know what Cheese Fondue is, it is simply put, melted cheese. It is any kind of cheese you like. It's usually Swiss, but while we're all home, a lot of us don't have a lot of food to go eat, so we're making creations out of our pantry. But almost every single household has cheese. Whether you have Swiss or cheddar or my favorite, Velveeta, or if you're a vegan, perhaps you eat fees, which I believe is called fake cheese. I'm not really sure what it's called. Um, I think so. Anyways, you get the cheese, you get a pot, melt it, stir it a lot, get yourself some cheese fondue to celebrate Cheese Fondue Day. It's also National Poutine Day. And poutine is a dish that came from, you guessed it. Can you see this flag? I'll zoom in for you. Canada. Poutine is Canadians' most famous, famous and delicious, I can't speak today, famous and delicious dish. That's hard to say. Uh, it is made with three things. Round one, french fries. Round two, cheese curds. Round three, gravy. I'll say it again. It's so delicious. Best write this down. First, french fries. Next, cheese curds. Then, gravy. Last, fork to the mouth. You got yourself some delicious poutine. And I strongly recommend tonight, while you're home, playing Battleship with a submarine with your pet, eating some delicious poutine, melt some cheese on top, you will celebrate every holiday April 11th has to offer in simply one form of a day. Play Battleship with your pet. 
uh, hopefully you can win because if you don't win, you get yourself a problem. If your cat or dog or especially your pet rock beats you, uh, that's a disaster. But celebrate submarine day with either playing battleship or eating a submarine sandwich. Um, if you don't have a pet, perhaps you can go look online today to start fostering a cat or dog or maybe foster a hamster, which I tried to do, but I realized uh, fostering a hamster is not a thing. Um, but, you know, pets need homes right now more than ever, too. Unfortunately, as I've been watching and studying for this news program, I've realized that there's many dogs and cats that are just being left out in the street because people are losing their jobs and they have uh, no money to pay for food for themselves or money to, take, money to take care of their pets. So pets need homes, too. So if you are a pet person, perhaps you could look at going to your local animal shelters and seeing if you can get a cat or a dog. Something nice to do. Speaking of something that is interesting, I was researching for tonight's program. And I have something very serious to talk about for our last minute of our show today. And that is, interestingly enough, every time we upgrade our cell service or phones. Now, I'm not a very technolog technological person. Um, so I could be, you know, my words of this may be misjumbled. But... Back in 2019, 5G was released. When 5G was released, the COVID-19 pandemic began. In 2009, H1N1 came to the world. H1N1 killed tens of thousands of millions of billions of trillions of people. So we have 5G released, 2019, mass pandemic. 2009, H1N1, mass pandemic. And I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, well, what's the correlation? Well, in 2009, that's when 4G was launched. Okay, Jeff. So I got 4G, I got 5G. That's a coincidence. The coincidence starts to change when I tell you back 3G was released in 1998. And in 1998, we had a massive influenza that brushed over the world and really took off from the J Japanese uh, Winter Olympics over in Japan. So we got 3G released. Influenza. 4G released H1N1. 5G released uh, the COVID-19 crisis. And I can go one step further back to cholera back in 1991, and that's when 2G was released. So interestingly, how every single time we up the Gs, we have a crisis across this world. It goes back to when 1G was released. When 1G was released back in 1979, the flu was huge. We get the flu every single year, but from 1979 until now, that's been what, 21 plus 20, 41 years, 41 years we've had five major crises around the flu and flu diseases all around the time when a G was released. So interesting that I found that out. Um, and thank you to all the people who've been researching this and finding this. I don't know what the correlation is, but I hope that more people view into this program tonight and can tell me how it is all correlated. Um, and then hopefully, you know, looking at that, the next 10 year cycle will be 2029 when 6G comes out and maybe we stop with the Gs. Maybe we just keep 5G forever or go back to our flip phones. Cause I realized back in the day when I had my old juke phone, that was half a phone, half a music player that flipped to the side and music played no problems. So there you go. Hope you have a fantastic Saturday, April 11th. And on April 11th, remember it is national pet day, national submarine day, national cheese fondue day, and national poutine day. Thank you so much for the Canadians for creating this delicious dish of poutine. And did you know, last fact of the night, poutine simply means mess. And I'll tell you, when you look at it, it sure looks like a mess, but it sure tastes delicious. Have a fantastic night. Bye-bye.